How do you visually illustrate a character processing information? How do you reveal something that is already in the frame? Did you see that? It was a rack focus. A rack focus happens when a filmmaker adjusts the focal plane to show something that was, at first, indistinguishable. It should reveal some crucial piece of information or signal a big change in the scene. What do you gain from using a rack focus? You have more focused direction in your scene. You control the eyes of the viewer. Layered images, because you have subjects at varying depths. Visual storytelling, because you show reactions to things on and off screen. Economic filmmaking, because you save time and money with fewer shots and an emotional connection because there is always an opportunity to make your link from A to B more profound. We're going to use Studio Binder's shot listing features to label the shots throughout today's video. Understanding how directors label their shots and plan setups will help you build your own dynamic scenes. Make sure to subscribe below and click the bell icon to stay in the loop. This is a scene from the 2006 film Casino Royale, directed by Martin Campbell. Watch closely. We follow a man up to his office where he finds his safe, but it's been opened. As he turns around, we rack focus to reveal our hero, Bond. Do you just prefer it if it wasn't selling secrets? James Bond. This was a significant moment for the 007 franchise. It was the first time the world got to see the new Bond. Let's show you how he did this all throughout Casino Royale and why this cinematic technique is much like 007's Walther PPK. Reliable, elegant, deadly. In this scene, we see 007 take a sip of his signature drink. As soon as he realizes something is wrong, we rack focus to the martini, then back to his face. The audience was shown the drink being poisoned only a moment before. But we know exactly when Bond realizes his drink was poisoned. And we learn this through a rack focus. Would a wide shot with no focus change be as effective for this moment? Would you have the same control over the eyes of the viewer? In our next scene, we see 007 arrive back at his hotel room after he and Vesper kill some assassins in a stairwell. Bond enters the room searching for Vespa when we rack focus to a broken wine glass. The rack focus in this scene replaced what would normally be an insert shot. This maintains the established momentum of the scene and saves time on set. We then cut to a close-up of 007's concerned face. As the scene continues, we are in a state of panic. We need to see where Vesper is, so when 007 opens the bathroom door, we rack focus to reveal her sitting in the shower. Bond realizes that while she is physically all right, she is still emotionally troubled, as suggested by the broken wine glass. Here's another scene. The next shot I want to show you is very, how should I say, smooth. Pay close attention. In this shot, Le Chiffre starts in a poorly lit wide shot, but he steps out of the dark into a close-up. 
He is now well lit, in focus, and looking off camera at something. As Le Chief returns, we rack focus to a henchman in a well lit area. We now have an over the shoulder wide shot that can also serve as a complex master shot. So, what was Le Chiffre looking at? What are we supposed to realize from this scene? Someone behind the curtain, pulling the strings. Tell them I'll, I'll get the money. Let's recap. With a rack focus, you gain focus direction, layered images, visual storytelling, economic filmmaking, and an emotional connection. You can use a rack focus to reveal something or to show a realization within a character. Now you have a license to thrill with the rack focus. All throughout this video, we used Studio Binder's production software. It also helps you create a stunning production calendar, script breakdowns, shooting schedules, call sheets and more. Subscribe right here, click the bell for new videos and follow us on Instagram to stay in the loop. Remember, if you want someone to really notice, consider using a rack focus. Mm -hmm.